Here we go, uh, looking at another storm. And by the way, the storm coming out of New Mexico is the blizzard that will be bearing down on the heartland. 2024, barely a week old, and we've got the storm pipeline locked and loaded. No end in sight for the foreseeable future. We're tracking storm after storm. Multiple Pacific powerhouses are rolling into the west. Then they head east, a wild array of dangerous, even life-threatening weather. This one that we're looking at now, the blizzard today for the plains in the Midwest, unleashes life-threatening conditions right through uh, the heartland. So we're looking at, you know, tornadoes on the southeast side of this, a high risk of flooding in the northeast, but it is this blizzard that we break down. Uh, already, we saw in the four corners, they were socked with snow. Look at this. Uh, snow trekked across and brought 10.8 inches of snow into Flagstaff, Arizona takes them to 16 inches for the month of January. That's a nice start, right? A solid start. Travel problems are lingering there out of the four corners. A stretch of I-40 eastbound is open again from US-93 to Flagstaff. They had issues there because they were uh, having accidents and snow removal. Now you've got active alerts that go from the four corners all the way up to the Great Lakes. In fact, every state except the 48 and North Dakota, you know, they're uh, outlier, We'll be looking at alerts of some kind. It'll be the biggest and most impactful storm that we've seen yet this year. We've seen cancellations for both flights and school and businesses across Nebraska and Kansas as things are underway. A blizzard warning for Hayes, Kansas. Um, we're watching to see what happens with Chicago airports to see if they have any problems or delays in the days ahead. And then the severe side of this later tonight, uh, it really is a serious situation. Any place where you're getting wind with other types of weather, you know that there's going to be impacts. Yeah, this and is all wind advisory It's really right serious, there. yeah. That's a large area, Bob, mm -hmm. um, that stretches from New Mexico all the way to the Carolinas. And you could mix that wind with snow, you could mix it with tornadoes, you yeah. could mix it with thunderstorms, mm -hmm. you can mix it with uh, the cold that comes in, and all of it complicates the issue. Let's dive in here because the blizzard setup, it, it, really it's underway. Yeah, we, it we, we've here's got Kansas law. already in it. <laughs> I'm looking at it right there. I, um, it's such a dynamic storm, I and mean, we've got that load that's now exiting and moving right through the Texas panhandle. It's the jet stream that's just power packed coming out from the west right to the east. Remember, we're in El Nino type of situation. We've got the energy there. We've got a jet streak of about 140 miles per hour getting up there, rotating around the mid-levels of the atmosphere. That's all getting the thunderstorm action going, and that is early. You can see what we're looking at right here. Storms are already firing up. These are not severe yet, but as that line moves over to the east a little bit farther, and we'll see that energy come rounding around this, and they phase, that's where we're going to start seeing the severe weather pop up around that Gulf Coast because we've got a tremendous amount of moisture coming on up. On the north side of it, there we are. That's all our snow. So you can see the blizzard warnings in effect. And some of these winds are going to be gusting to 60, 70 miles per hour. And we're talking about northwestern part of New Mexico, uh, northeastern part of there, getting into northern Texas, all the way out through Kansas, too. Uh, some, of the, some of the pictures we're getting in here, pretty intense. I mean, I-70, some of those regions right by Hayes, Kansas, heavy snow is coming down very well right now. I-70 is a very dangerous part to travel right here. And here you go with the winds. This is the forecast. Now, as Ooh. the low pressure center goes Man. right overhead of Kansas City, the winds actually come down just a bit. The outlying areas, though, and this is underdone. Uh, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds in Des Moines, most likely up to 40 to 45 at times. So you will see the blizzard-like conditions up there going all the way up through Chicago. You're going to see gusty winds, but wind, rain kind of switching over to snow for you and then back to rain again for Chicago. Yeah, the, the Chicago proper area, mm -hmm. they get skipped over just a little bit. They get a couple inches of snow, don't want to underdo that. Right. But... The Chicago land area, just to the west, in the western suburbs, you, you get into Rockford, you get into Aurora, DeKalb, St. Charles, all the way up to Schaumburg. These are places that will have snow the entire time. They'll get a little bit more. And if you're not happy with your result in this storm, wait for it, because there's a second storm for you before this week That's is a good over. Point. You know, so you've got two rounds coming through Chicago. Um, the winds that come in on the backside of the storm make it possible for that second storm to lay down some decent snow. So this is round one, one to three inches. You'll notice Elgin back to Rockford. There's a heavier snow amount there from three to five, five to eight. Mm -hmm. That takes you back along 90. That stretches almost to the uh, state state lines. I always felt like when I lived in Chicago, anything past Rockford was out on the plains. <laughs> right, that's <laughs> you right. Know? Uh, but uh, this is a situation where you're going to have some slowdowns, and it's been a slow winter in places like Milwaukee in, in central Wisconsin. We haven't had a lot of winter weather. Back into Portage, uh, this is another area where we'll get over a half foot. Madison, Wisconsin, also pushing mm -hmm. more than six inches of snow. So you've got a, an opportunity here to get some decent snow in the Midwest. It has to get over the plains, though, first. 
The storm will give us a lot of evidence of its power in the coming hours because it's right now underway. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.